guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Ale review. Um, today's beer is going to be from a brewery that I've tried before, they're the Compass Brewery. Um, I tried their IPA and I found it to be quite a little bit sickly, it was a bit too biscuity for me um, when I was expecting sort of more of a citrus explosion. But, you know, I don't. I never write a company off based on one beer because, you know, what's the point of that? These are guys, you know, trying to make an impression on the ale market and um, educate people. So anyway, Compass Brewery, I thought I'd try their pale ale. Their Isis Pale Ale. Okay, I'm going to put that light on. I don't know if it makes a difference here, but it is quite dull in here. So let there be light. Thank you. All right. So anyway, let's give you a bit of info on this. Okay. Isis is synonymous with Rowan. It is the name given to both the River Thames as it flows through Oxford and to one of Oxford University's rowing boats that competes in the epic clash simply known as the Boat Race. The origin of Isis Pale Ale lies in English IPAs and American Pale Ale. This beer has been crafted with fruity European hops to complement crystal and golden malted barleys, then dry hopped with American citrus hops for an excellent finish. Isis Pale Ale is a transatlantic tipple that, like the best boat race crews, is truly greater than the sum of its parts. Okay, ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat and hops. Lovely, okay. That's a Compass Brewery, based in Oxford. They've got a website which is www.compassbrewery.com. Okay, and there's another little bit of bump here, it says, At Compass Brewery, we believe that good real ale is all about letting the right flavours meet and marry together. That's why we are always exploring new and old combinations and giving them time to settle into wedded life in our casks and bottles before they reach your glass. An exploration in flavours, lovely. And there you go, here's the label with the, uh, with the old canoeists on it. Is that the term? I don't know. Right. Okay, lovely little blue cap there. Right, I'm hoping this isn't going to taste like the IPA because it was nice enough but it was just a bit too sickly um, okay let's see alright let's give it a bit of a pour this time because okay still not too much of a head um, strange that some of the glasses I pour them in they give me a head straight away but this green room one tends to uh, keep them to a minimum. Right, okay. Slightly bronze sort of colour. Like you say, no head. A little bit of carbonation, some bubbles clinging to the side, not too much. So, let's get the old nose on it. Yeah. It's, um, it's very similar to the IPA. Um, I'm getting a lot of biscuit. Like a, almost like a, a baked sweetness. There is some citrus, but it just seems to be trying to fight through that, that sweet biscuit, and it's, um, it's just not getting through. Um, what else is that? It's quite a musty sort of smell as well. Um, Almost like um, when you get um, in the, you know, when you're in the garden, if you've got roses, and uh, when they start to wither, they sort of give off quite a sort of um, a musty sort of sweetness. That's the sort of smell I'm getting from this as well, which isn't unpleasant. All right, okay, let's give this a go. Cheers. Mm, yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. Um, it's very similar. It's got the caramelly taste. It's hardly any citrus. It's just, it's not breaking through that wall of biscuit. I mean, it's like bloody the Great Wall of Biscuit or something. It's just. There's an odd bitterness as well to that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to drink that. 
I'm sorry, uh, maybe if there's people out there who like the biscuity flavours and the biscuity smells, you know, and all that stuff, I've, got, I've really got to find, find out what a hop it is that produces that flavour. But you know, I've tasted ales with, which have got a strong uh, biscuit flavour and they've been quite nice, but I don't know, it just seems to be the compass stuff. It's just really not, I'm not feeling it at all. Um, and it is, and it does make me feel a little bit sick. Um, Sorry about that, I'm not going to rate it because I don't want to slug off the company because there's probably people out there who do like it and it is a small independent company, you know and um, their IPA was alright but I don't like that so you know I'll leave that one up to you guys if you want to try it and you, you know if you, if you, like I say, if you're into them sort of flavours crack on, get on with it but that's not for me, that's a sink job cheers guys